Today, we're going to show you how to set up Streamlabs alerts inside of OBS. I personally use Streamlabs alerts just simply because I like the way the simplistic setup is. But let's jump in here and let's show you how to set up Streamlabs alerts inside of OBS. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is log into your Streamlabs account. As you can see right here, I have Streamlabs web page loaded up. And I am currently sitting inside of my alerts on the side over here. There is an alert box. That is how you set up the alert system. However, we're going to do some custom alerts today. I'm going to show you how to do the simple install of using a website like Nerd or Die to add alerts to your stream as well. So the first thing you want to do is create a new alert system. So you're going to go to Manage Themes. It's going to give you a bunch of options. It's going to show you all the ones I currently have set up inside of my Streamlabs. But you could look through there's all the ones that I currently have. But our first thing we're going to be doing is creating a widget theme. That is what we're going to be using. So we're going to name it. Let's go right here. Let's just new test alerts. And you can add some description to it if you want to. But we're going to go ahead and create that right there. And it creates a new theme for us inside of Streamlabs. So now that you've created a new test alert widget theme, we are going to have to go through and add our own alert to our stream so the next step we're going to be doing right here is go to the alert box and it switches off to this scene right here and as you can see we have a bunch of different commands right here at the top we've got test follow alert test subscription test resub test donation all of these will allow you to test your alerts once you get them set up so the first one we're going to set up right off the bat is going to be our follow alert and it gives you a little link at the top here you can copy but we don't need it right at the moment we're going to go through here we're going to select an image let me get rid of the one that's in there you're going to go click right here and courtesy of Streamlabs, they give you some free ones that you can set up uh, right off the bat that way if you want to you know, use their own and not upload any you can use their current ones so let's just say we want to use a clapping hand for a follow alert so you go through there you would hit select then you go back up here to the top and you got to make sure everything's enabled and we are going to hit save settings so now that you save these settings you're going to be asking yourself well how do i get this alert to show up inside of obs and that is where the link at the top is going to come into play what you need to do is go ahead and hit copy and it's going to tell you before you proceed uh, please read the following information about copying your URL. Please do not share this with anyone and do not expose it to the public for them to actually paste your alerts inside of their streams as well. So we don't want to do that. We want to keep it private and keep it to ourselves. So let's go ahead and hit copy. And now we need to create a browser source inside of OBS to be able to set up that specific follow alert for our stream. There are actually a bunch of different options that you can use to customize your alerts. If you scroll down through the list right here, you can see the top right here we've got our follow alert do we want to enable do we have a follow alert at all on our stream we also have a layout whether or not the text appears below in the center of the alert or to the right hand side of the alert as well then we have an alert animation as well for, for today's video we're just going to leave it like that you can go through once you decide to set up your own alerts whether or not you want to adjust these and put the text and things like that in a different position whether you want to have the alert animation a little bit different but for now we're just going to leave it like it is we've already saved our settings so now we need to go inside of obs copy our browser source in there and set up our alerts inside of there all right so here we are inside of obs uh we've got the infinite mirror going on but what we're going to be doing is going out here to the bottom and we're going to hit the plus mark and then we're going to create a new browser source so let's call this new browser source alert so let's type in alerts we are going to hit okay and now we copy and paste our browser source that we copied from the Streamlabs website in here. So let's hit control V. We are going to set the width and height to 1920 or whatever the base canvas size is for your stream. So to be 1080, we're going to scroll down a little bit and we're going to shut down source when not visible. We also need to turn on refresh browser when the scene becomes active. So there we go. So now we have our alert set up inside of OBS and now we need to test it out to make sure it works as well. So if you notice across the top right here, we have some buttons. We have test, follow, test, subscription, et cetera. So we need to test out whether or not that alert will actually work inside of OBS. So let's hit the test follow button and there we go. There is the little hand clapping that we set up for our follow alert inside of OBS. I actually turned the sound off so you wouldn't be greeted with that but you can set the sound levels as well for all of your alerts inside of obs one thing i'm sure that you notice as well is that the alert takes up the entire screen we don't want our alert to take up the entire screen so what we need to do we actually need to resize that alert so let's go back inside of obs and let's adjust the size of our alert so let's go ahead and down here at the bottom we're going to find that window and we're going to shrink it down let's just say we wanted to 
about this size right here and we're gonna lock it in place real quick and now we are gonna go inside of the Streamlabs webpage one more time. There we are, and we're gonna test it once more. And there is our little hand clapping. The text at the bottom is relatively small, so it's hard to see. But what we can do, we can actually go through Streamlabs and we can adjust the font size on each of our alerts. So let's just say we got sound volume. Basically, I gotta turn it all the way down. We've got an alert text delay, which is none. In the event that you know someone maybe put something inappropriate, you can adjust the alert text delay. But we're gonna go to font settings right here. You can actually change the font for the actual alert and you can have individual or whatever font you would like to have for any of the alerts that you set up inside of OBS. So for font size, we're going to go up that just a little bit. Let's just say 50. You can actually have font weight as well. Let's increase that as well. We are going to go back. We're going to hit save settings, scroll back to the top and we're going to test that follow and see if that's any better. It is a little bit better. It's not, you know, really great right now. So we can always increase the size of the font and make it however large we want it to be. So for every alert that you want to have inside of your stream, it doesn't require you to actually copy and paste that link. All those alerts that you set up, whether you set up follow alerts, whether you set up subscriptions. So as you can see right here, we've got subscriptions set up. I've already got some set up in here. I've got a sub sound as well. I've got the volume set to a specific level and then everything is set up in there nicely just like i want to you go through and out do your donations the same way if you want to do bits you go through and test your bits as well there's all your bits and animations for that then you can set up raids raid alerts as well as you see i've got already got one set up in there as well one thing you can also do is you can upload your own custom uh, animation or alert pictures or any advantage you want to put a picture of yourself up there as an alert you can do that as well and that is simply done just by going down looking on the right hand side here we have a little button select the image i've already uploaded some images as you can see i've got a bunch in here that i've uploaded previously and it is very simple all you do is just drag and drop it from your desktop and it will automatically upload it inside of your image gallery and then you can use that for an alert so let me just say i want to use this one right here i would select it go down to the bottom last save it scroll back up and we're going to test the read option as well so let's test read and there we go that is the image i just selected for use for whenever someone reads my channel or whenever someone reads your channel as well we're not gonna go through and show you all the different options but what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the nerd or die website nerd or die has a lot of free alerts i just actually changed my alert system to a brand new one inside of obs that way um it looks all concise and neat one thing i will say if you're going to upload images of your own personal images make sure they're not copyright or if they are copyrighted make sure that they have permission from wherever you get them from or if they require accreditation that way you can use them and don't get in trouble for using you know someone else's images or someone else's alert all right so let's pop over to the nerd or die website this is why like i said where i actually got my recent one from and if you scroll through the list right here they have a bunch of them that you actually pay for so here are the ones i currently have right now inside of my uh personal stream so what you're gonna do you're gonna add it to your cart then you go through set up all your information and even though these are free it still asks you for your basic information but all you gotta do is hit complete order and since it's free you don't have to pay anything for it at all and it's gonna complete your order real quickly for you and then you're hit the download button and you're going to download add that file to your computer here hit download and it downloads for you and now i have it on my computer and what we'll do is we'll open it up that way you can see it so once you get the file downloaded it is going to open download a zip file to your desktop or wherever your save folder is so what you need to do is go inside there you're going to drag and drop that folder that is inside of your zip folder to your desktop or wherever you want to place it at so i'm going to go ahead and drag it to my desktop and then you can open that folder up so once you get that folder opened up what you're going to be do greeted with is a bunch of different little folders right here but there is a really simplistic way to set up install the alerts inside of your obs and inside of streamlabs as well but what you do is you're going to click right here you're going to click that link and it is going to open it up inside of your streamlabs website inside of your account and it's going to ask you to either use it as a default but for our case we're going to create a new widget theme let's go ahead and rename it we're going to call this minimal minimal two since i already have this set up inside of my stream lab so let's hit create and it goes ahead and creates it now we want to use it for our default alert system so let's go ahead and hit use and now we can go ahead and test it by going through and hitting the test follow button so if you hit test follow if you notice at the top it is very very small we don't want it that small we want it a lot bigger but we need to change that 
that way we can actually see the alert on screen so let's go back in here let's go to alert let's unlock it and we are going to stretch that alert back out you fill up our screen we're going to lock it back then we're going to go back inside of our desktop so let's go back over here test it one more time and as you can see it is much bigger and now we have a very nice simple follow alert we have a very simplistic new sub alert as well and it sets them up all for you inside of the stream Labs website all you have to do is simply switch to that specific set of widget themes that you want to use so now we have a really nice alert system for our stream that we are currently using and that right there is just how simple it is to set up alerts inside of obs even using something like a service like streamlabs.com not only can you use streamlabs.com there are a host of other websites out there that will let you set up alerts inside of obs we have stream elements we have stream labs we have polypop and we have own as well but all of these are pretty much the exact same way when it goes to setting up alerts inside of your obs streaming our platform like i said you can also use it for any other platform you use as well whether it be streamlabs desktop whether it be prism live whatever you are currently using to stream to twitch youtube kick whatever you are using anyway y'all this is how easy it is to set up alerts for you hope you have a wonderful day hope you learned something from this video if you have any questions leave them down below don't forget like subscribe you know the deal and all that anyway until next time much love peace out and we'll see you soon